All right, all right. Let's see. I'm out here this morning. Um, Want to get some stuff done. It looks like it's supposed to rain and everything, and it's really muggy out here. My lens keeps fogging up. But hopefully, I got it cleaned off. But this is going to be a real short video. It's more of an FYI on what to look for um, when I when I run into this. But uh, let me show you what I got. All right. So you see, I've I've got this X Mark. Pretty nice little machine. X Mark has a 34 inch cutting, and this guy uses it uh, for residential uh, mowing out here. He's got a ton of yards that he does, and this thing's a pretty nice machine. The problem we we're having, let me see if I can get close here. You can see I've already dug into it, and what it was doing, you know, I'd already slung that out of the way, and you can see where gas has been dripping here on the mower and gas you know I took that off took that off got the carburetor on because it was just leaking gas right every once in a while you start messing with it and it would start really coming out um, but then while it sat there it would it would stop and I'm thinking well it's got to be it sounds like the the float bowl right but on the other hand when we tried to crank it, all that gas was coming out of the muffler down here, and you can see it just spraying on the ground. And I was like, holy cow, you know, why is all that uh, gas getting down into the muffler, you know, through the, through the intakes, through the, you know, uh, the exhaust valves, and all the way through. So everything was just flooding big time. And so I took the covers off, got everything disconnected and the main fuel line here I noticed you can see I had to pinch it off I noticed when and usually you can see the the fuel pump here um, usually that starts pumping it out right but with this one it was just a constant flow it was just just coming out of there you know so I don't think it's supposed to be doing that through that fuel pump uh, just constantly feeding gas through uh, and the biggest thing, so that was flooding it and I was figured, okay, there's, there's gas constantly getting in and the float bowl is stuck and it's just flooding everything, right? So I took all that off and everything looked really clean. I mean, this, this is a pretty nice engine. Um, And I kept checking it, going back and forth, you know, wondering what, what is going on. But then I noticed, and you can see from here, you can see this float bowl is full of gas. You see it sloshing around in there? So it was full of gas and it was, it was never shutting off. So I'm gonna take that off too. I'm also discovering, you know, I, I usually try to kind of a tight squeeze in there, but I blow into the into that intake, and uh, and then I work the the bowl up and down to see if it's you know shutting it off and all that good stuff, and it's not doing it. It's, it's like it's it's clogged. So the this might be full of gas and the pin, I'm gonna take that off, make sure it's all cleaned off and all that stuff. But that was the biggest thing. You can see this thing is just full of gas. So, and hopefully that's the only problem. I mean, cause it was just flooding gas all through this engine. But the engine's pretty nice, you know? Usually when you see a V-twin like a Briggs and Stratton, and all the intakes are plastic, this is plastic. Um, but you can see it's all it's all aluminum, it's cast. I don't know who makes these uh, engines for X Mark. They're claiming it's it's an X Mark engine, but uh, don't know who's making them. If anybody knows, just write a comment.
But that is it. I'm just going to make that one short and sweet. It's pretty obvious what it is, but I had to take everything apart and, uh, and take a look. But uh, So it wasn't a sticking float bowl. It was just full of gas. And uh, don't see that too often. But uh, So that was the problem with this uh, X-Mark. So that's it. Just a quick video, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.